Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, ATN Gaming here, also known as Kira in War Robots. In today's video is a compilation of the bots in the Hangar X doing a War Robots tournament called Faction Wars. This is also my entry for the YouTube giveaway, so if you want to win a paralysis drone, comment your ID and platform below. If my video wins, one comment will be chosen at random to win a paralysis drone. Subscribe for more, now let's jump into the gameplay and talk about the meta in the Hangar X right now. So the first one that we're going to talk about is your Ravana that's in the Hangar X. Um, in my opinion, the Ravana is still a very good bot. It's um, um, because of his ability, you can play very well with it. It's quite tanky as well. Um, and the setup that you see here, the build, is the three times Havoc. Um, that is right now, in my opinion, the the best build. And obviously, War Robots or Martian X. Uh, agrees with uh, or also thinks the same thing because they're the one who set up this this hangar and they chose for this build as well but other builds like cryo weapons or the bomb effect weapons would also be very good options as well next up is one of my favorite bots is the phantom uh, i still love this bot i still think it's very good it's more of an underdog bot in my opinion uh, not so much meta uh, but definitely, definitely a good investment if you, if anyone out there is considering or doubting whether you should invest in a Phantom. I think his ability, it's quite tanky with his defense points, makes it a very good beacon capper. Um, he does a decent amount of damage as well with two small weapons and one medium weapon. Um, so nothing to, uh, to complain there. There's also many ways that you can play the Phantom. For example, imagine that you are on a beacon, right? And you use your ability that you uh, that you st uh, start off with it, and then you run with your ability on to another beacon. You capture that beacon, and then you can teleport back to your original spot, which is the other beacon. That way, you can basically go back and defend the uh, the beacon that you were running from. Um, I don't have footage of that because this is tournament footage, but it's just a idea for you guys that you can use that way with the Phantom as well. Really good bot, definitely a recommendation on my end. The next one is Shell. We all know that Shell right now is definitely one of the meta bots. It's really good, um, difficult to kill with one heavy weapon and two uh, small weapons. Um, it uh, uh, packed quite a punch in my opinion. So you can see here is the bomb effect build. I forgot the names of these weapons. I think the sc the scout and the um, uh, incinerator, if I remember that correctly. Yeah. So that's a good build. This is my new favorite bot, guys. It's the Orochi. I managed to get lucky enough to get the uh, shark Orochi or the Megalodon Orochi from the event box last event. Um, so I've upgraded this one all the way to MK2, and I love this bot. It's so it's quick, it's fast. Uh, it's not very. It's 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 like it's um, it's not like the Fenrir, right, which is very clumsy, right? Clumsy, but this is a great bot for beacon capping. Uh, two heavy weapons, which has a good firepower. Um, use it with a combination of modules, uh, drones, and uh, and pilot. Um, it's definitely one of the meta right now. Not the strongest in my opinion, but definitely one of the metas. Um, also, what you can do, you see here, that's uh, this is the glacier setup. Uh, I use this one in my own hangar as well, but the bomb effect, the incinerators is a good build. I think the better one right now, the number one build would be the hell weapons. Uh, but you know, if you have Avengers, uh, if you have Avengers, put Avengers on it, Nucleons. I would not do Dragoons because those are more snipe, but any setup would be good. I think this is the last one, I'm not, but I'm not entirely sure, but it's the Fafnir that you see here in action. Uh, yeah, I don't have to say much about the Fafnir because Fafnir right now with the current build and the current stats, the Fafnir is the number one in the meta. Uh, I think that is the, the, the number one position because it's quite tanky like a Fenrir, but once in the air, it's so fast with the shield. Uh, it's just crazy. You can barely hit it if you have weapons that has delay. So pulsars, that type of weapons would be best to kill a Fafnir. Uh, but definitely one of the metas. That's it for today's uh, videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>